Good morning, everybody. Um, so it is Saturday morning. I think we're day 81, I believe. Um, so yesterday, let's see. Oh, well, first off, I weighed myself. I'm exactly 309 again. On the nose. Today I'm surprised, but on the other way. I thought I would have been worse off because of yesterday. So here goes. Well, first off, I went to the gym, so that, that saved me. Um, I went to the gym first thing in the morning. I woke up at 7, went to the gym right away. Uh, gym was good. I started off a little easy. And then I uh, started picking it up a little bit just to see if I was back to 100%. And I, uh, I went on the treadmill and I ended up getting my heartbeat just over 170 for a little bit. And I realized that uh, whenever I take deep breaths, usually because I do... Uh, high interval intermittent training no high intensity sorry high intensity interval training uh, h-i-i-t so i try to get max heart rate for as long as i can 30 seconds to a minute then i i kind of relax for two minutes and start over again so that's that that tends to be something that i enjoy um, so anyway, so I, I did that, and uh, I noticed that whenever my heart's about 170-ish, and I've taken my deep breaths, they're not as satisfying as pre-COVID. So, and by that I mean whenever, I don't feel like I can take as deep a breath to get as much quality air in my lungs. So it was taking me longer to uh, recover. So instead of doing one minute of intensity, two minutes of relaxing, it was closer to one minute of intensity and two and a half to three minutes and then I kind of calmed down a little bit because uh, obviously I, there's still I'm not 100% so I didn't want to push myself too much so uh, as soon as I noticed that instead of going for 170 I kind of dropped down closer to 160 it was a little bit more manageable uh, but even then uh, it just it wasn't perfect so I did that for about 15 minutes and then uh, I got off then I went to go do my weights. Now my weights is fine because you're not huffing and puffing usually for your weights. You're just sweating a lot. So I did my weights. I did my, uh, I really like doing my upper body and, my, and I can't do lower body too much. There's only a few things I can do in lower body. So I'm hoping to go see my doctor within the next couple of weeks now. Uh, first off, I had taken an x-ray of my knee. Um, so I'm waiting for the results for that. I had taken a blood test for my annuals. Uh, so I'm waiting for a result from that. And um, and it's actually August 1st or August 2nd. I just got the call back now because the doctor had COVID, so he had canceled on me. But uh, early August, I'm getting my shot into my, uh, my heel. So I'm going to get some cortisone in my heel. So between that and hopefully my knee, though, uh, someone told me that it's, I probably need cortisone shot in my knee as well. So between the two, hopefully, I, I can be in better shape to hit the gym. And, and, and I think from what I understand, and it doesn't mean just because the pain's not there, it doesn't mean I should be pushing myself because it just hides the pain. I can still do quite a lot of damage. Uh, but I'll speak more to the doctor about it. That's kind of what I've been reading on it. So I still have to be careful because, you know, it'll be nice to be able to start doing weights with my legs. But again, I, can I? I? I don't know. So I'll see about that. So anyways, now let's get to the food part. Now the gym was done, so it was a great way to start the day. I felt good about it. Um, I had said the day before that the plan was we were going to go in the United States. We are going to go eat at this place called Texas Roadhouse, which makes this incredible food. And it's terrible for you. But it's so good. It is so, so good. Um, so I prepared for it tomorrow, uh, yesterday. So... I started off, I still had my toast, so 150 calories for my toast and the fake peanut butter stuff. Uh, I had a couple grapes with it. Let's call it 200. We'll, we'll be generous, we'll call it 200, but it was less than that. Um, and then I had my shake for lunch right before we left to go to the States around 1 o'clock. I had my shake, that's 150. So I'm setting about 350 going to the States, and now I can I can eat, right? I can I can. And, 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 enjoy a nice big meal and of course the sodium is going to be ridiculous for the next few days but it's okay because my my goal was to get under 310 and i got that and i'm, I'm and i'm there you know it's fine so even if it means that my weight's going to be a little higher for the next few days until all of that comes out it's okay because i i really really do enjoy this restaurant and it is really a, a treat for me 
and I'm just more careful. So I'm 350 calories in, now we get to the restaurant. Um, oh, and by the way, before we get to the restaurant, I had spoken about this yesterday. So I was looking at how many calories can I eat per day now uh, for someone that just sits all day, right? No exercise. Obviously, I do some exercise, but I don't want to count that. I just want to know if I have a normal day where I'm just sitting at the computer most of the day, which is what I do as a living, for a living, uh, how many calories can I actually consume without putting any weight on? So at 360, it was 2,950 calories. Now at 310 or 309, I looked up, it's 2,650 calories. So obviously it's 300 less calories than I used to be able to consume. So I got to keep that in mind. Okay, so 2,650. Now I know I went to the gym, this and that, but I don't, like I said, I don't want to count that. Those are all bonus um, weight loss. So anyway, I went to the uh, restaurant and first off, they start with these hot rolls that come with uh, this, this butter, apple butter stuff. It's unbelievably good. Um, normally we all get one or two rolls each. I took uh, not even half, like a, a third of a roll with some butter, uh, a little bit of butter on it. It was 100 calories basically for that, for what I did take. Um, they enjoyed the rest. Now for my appetizer, I really like the rattlesnake bites is what they're called. They're kind of like these jalapeno poppers, uh, but they're just good quality, very high quality. Uh, I looked it up online. They have a very, very good website to count their calories, which is which is very good. So I looked it up online and it was 560 calories, but there were nine of them. I had six out of nine, so it was 375 calories. Plus I had about probably 100 calories worth of sauce on it. I had, didn't have, didn't put too much sauce on it, but I did look at how much, how many calories were in the sauce, because it comes with two sauces. And it says for both sausages, looking at 400 calories total, had about half a cup, half of one of the little cups, 100 calories, right? Makes sense. So I'm looking at about 475, let's say 500 calories just for my appetizer. And then for my meal, as I said, I, I looked up uh, the chicken, barbecue chicken burger was 600 calories. And if you ate all the fries, it was an extra 400, so it was 1,000 calories. I ended up eating just one bite over half of my chicken burger. So we'll say, Six out sixty percent of my burger and eight, um, so times six hundred calories. That's three hundred sixty calories. And for the fries, I only had four fries. That was very good. Now I wanted to eat the whole thing. I'll be honest. I, it took a lot of self control. I was not full. I wanted to eat everything, but I knew that if I eat everything afterwards, I'm going to feel like crap. And and I did the right thing. So I pushed it away. Um, overall, I did the math. It comes up to 1,100 calories is what I ate during dinner. Uh, plus add the 350 that I had earlier, say the 400 I had earlier. Uh, we're looking at about 1,500 calorie day. So it is still a very good day. Uh, of course, the sodium is ridiculous, like I said, but no big deal. Uh, so that was, that was it. And afterwards, about a half an hour after my meal, when we were up and walking around, uh, I, I could feel it all the way up here. I was so full, so I did the right thing, push it away, and uh, they asked me, do you want a doggy bag to bring it home? No, 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 we'll be good. <laughs> but it was, it was, I really wanted it. So it was a fantastic day. It's one of my favorite kinds of days where we just, we drive somewhere that's, you know, a couple, an hour, a couple hours away, <clears throat> and um, spend time with the family, we don't have any set plans. We're just driving. If we want to stop somewhere, we stop somewhere. That That's a beautiful day for me. So that's what yesterday was. It was fantastic. Now today, my youngest, he's got a birthday party. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have to stick around or not. So I don't know what lunch is going to be like exactly today. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I am pretty hungry. It's I think it's like 8.30 or something like that. It's around 8.30 a.m. And I'm really hungry. But I want to hold off a bit. I want to hold off because I do like the, uh, uh, well, as you guys know, I have a fatty liver, right? So that's, that's I was diagnosed with, uh, what's it called? Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Yeah. So, and, and intermittent fasting can help you get rid of that. So, and I've been doing it for a long time, right? I've been doing it for about 70, well, 80 days, right? 80 days I've been doing it. And uh, most days, I, I think there's probably only five days or so that I've actually had breakfast 
So I, you know what, I, I like it. I'm gonna hold off a bit. I might not hold off till lunch. Maybe I'll, I'll eat some breakfast around 10, 10, so that I can have my lunch maybe at uh, my shake around one, depending on what the party is gonna be like. I have no idea, but we'll kind of go around that and, uh, and we'll see. Uh, so that's it for me. So I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. Um, out for six M I'm still at 2.4, it's working uh, and it feels fine. Uh, today I kind of, I missed, pricked myself and uh, I actually had a little red spot. Oh, well, no big deal. It doesn't really hurt. Even if you do that, you kind of get a little pinch and, uh, and that's it. So, all right. Have a good day, everybody. See you tomorrow.